Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today's video is how to describe prices and value. So in this video you will learn nine words and phrases to describe prices and value. Cost, the verb be, sell for, fetch, go for, set you back, to be priced at, how much, and comes to. So let's start. The verb cost. We use the verb cost to describe the price of something. Cost is an irregular verb and the past form and past participle is also cost. The car costs £20,000. The meal cost more than I expected. So this is the past simple tense of cost. Past simple. The meal cost more than I expected. A week in London will cost me £1,000. So here we are using the future the future simple tense of cost. This will be the price in the future. We can also use the verb be. We can simply use the verb be to describe prices. Example, the bowls are 10 pounds each. The bowls are 10 pounds each. Here we have the verb be in the third person plural present. The customer asks, how much are the postcards please? So here we have again the verb be in the third person plural and we're asking a question and the shopkeeper replies they are one pound each or ten for eight pounds. Okay so they are. So we can simply use the verb be followed by the price. Now let's look at some more complicated examples. Sell for. We use sell for to describe the prices of more expensive things. Sell is also irregular. The past simple and past participle are sold. Tickets for the Wimbledon final sell for £255. Okay, so this is the price of tickets for the Wimbledon final. Here we are using the present simple, sell for. So since we are using the present simple, we are describing the usual price. Okay, in general, the price for the final is 255 pounds okay and here we have an example in the past the mansion sold for 30 million pounds so this is the past simple so this is the actual real price that the mansion sold at so this was the real price um, in the past Okay, this was the price of the mansion when it was sold. Fetch. We also use fetch to describe the sale of very expensive things. The painting fetched two million pounds at auction. Okay, so this means the cost of the painting at auction was two million pounds. Somebody paid two million pounds for this painting at auction. Rare Rolex watches often fetch over 100,000 pounds. So again here we are using the present simple. So we are talking in general. In general the regular normal price of rare Rolex watches is over £100,000. 
before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe, like the video and subscribe to my channel if you like my lessons. Okay, go for. We use go for to describe the usual price or the market price of expensive things. So we're going to use the present simple again. Here we have a classic Volkswagen camper van. These are, I think these are from 1980s, the 1980s. So about 30, um, 30 or 40 years old. So classic Volkswagen camper vans go for about 20,000 pounds. So we're using the present simple again to talk about in general the cost or the price of these vans is about 20,000 pounds. Okay, so it's an estimate. It's an estimate. And we can also use go for to describe the actual real price, real sale price of something. So a house on my street is going for 500,000 pounds. And notice here we are using the present continuous, present continuous. Okay, so we're talking about the real actual price of something. Someone on my street is selling their house and this is the asking price. We call this the asking price, the price that they are proposing, the price that they want. Okay, and we can say 10 weeks later, the house went for 450,000 pounds. So 10 weeks later, the house was sold. They actually sold the house and it went for. So went is the past simple tense of go. So this is the real sale price of the house 10 weeks ago. Okay, so we can say that they got less they got fifty thousand pounds less than the asking price okay so went for this is the past tense of go for set you back and we use set you back to describe something that costs a lot of money um, this is a very informal it's an informal phrase okay very informal Set is irregular and the past simple and past participle is also set. And the form is set someone back. My new phone set me back 500 pounds. Okay, so my new phone was very expensive and it cost me 500 pounds. Okay, so that's what this means. We're saying, we're admitting that the phone was very expensive and the cost was 500 pounds. And we can ask someone the price of something that you think is very expensive. So if you see someone with a very expensive object and if you want to ask the price informally, you can say, how much did your camera set you back? Okay. How much did something set you back? Okay. How much did it cost you? Because I think it is very expensive. Okay. So how much did your car set you back? How much did your house set you back? Okay. To be priced at. We use this phrase in the passive form to describe the price of something. So this is in the passive, it's the passive voice. And the form is the item followed by the verb be priced at and then the real price. Hats are priced at 20 pounds each. Hats are priced at 20 pounds each okay 
So the verb be priced at and then the price. So this is another way of saying hats cost 20 pounds. Okay? Or the price of the hats is 20 pounds. Okay? Handbags are priced at 50 pounds. Okay? Handbags. How much? This is a question. So we use how much at the beginning of a question to ask for the price of something. And we have three ways of using this. We have three common ways of using how much. Method one, how much do the mugs cost? So here we're using how much with the verb cost. Or we can use the verb be, simply how much are the mugs? And finally, we can simply say how much for a mug? How much for a mug? And all of these three questions, we are simply asking what is the price of a mug? Okay. Comes to, this is a very useful expression. If you buy several items, then we use comes to to describe the total price, the total price. So the price of all of the items added together. And we often hear this when we go to pay for something at the cashier. So at the coffee shop, when we go to pay, the cashier, this is the lady here, the cashier, she says, she says, that comes to eight pounds 35, please. That comes to. So she is giving the total price of several items. So the customer has perhaps ordered um, a cup of coffee and a cake, for example. So there are two items and that comes to eight pounds 35 please and we can also use comes to in a question if i buy a hamburger and a drink how much will that come to how much will that come to so we're asking uh, a question in the future um, what will the total price be that's what this means. What will the total price be? How much will that come to? Okay? So that's the end. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel. And if you are preparing for the IELTS exam, click here for information about our course. And here are some other videos I think you might like.